Hello and welcome to Arts America, the program that brings you the best stories from St. Louis and around the country. Thanks for joining us. Have you ever seen one of those outdoor sculptures of individuals who look so lifelike you don't know it's really bronze until you're practically on top of it? Embarrassing but understandable. Well, there's an artist based in West County whose work may remind you of those kinds of sculptures, except that the models get around on four legs. I'm Joy Beckner. I usually go by Joy Kroger Beckner, which is my maiden name in the middle. And I am a sculptor. This piece, Mary Sunshine, started out this size. And I did do it in wax originally, make it entirely out of wax. I had it cast. And then I had a gentleman ask me for a life-size version. I sculpt mainly dogs and Dachshunds in particular, but I've been known to do other dogs. I've done humans. But somehow when my old girl, Anna, was dying, I had to do a sculpture of her. One thing I've thought about many times while I was working on, the, uh, on a dog is how similar a dog's anatomy is to a human's anatomy. I mean, if you know human anatomy, and I had really good training at Wash U, for human anatomy, you can translate that into animals, at least into mammals. You know, his hock is the heel of, on a human. If you just translate all that, it makes it a lot easier and also kind of, to me, fascinating. Do you want to know about the casting process? Yeah. Because I'm too picky, <laughs> I'm very picky, I chase my own waxes. To chase a wax on this little size, for example, means to, correct, to chase any wax is to correct all the imperfections that happen in the wax pour. Then the person at, uh, a person in Colorado will put this on a tree. It's a wax tree and it has, it'll hold maybe four or five of these little dogs. Then they dip it in ceramic slurry. Then they turn this thing upside down in an oven. All the wax runs out, lost wax. Then they take this shell, turn it right side up and pour the molten bronze into the empty shell. Then they blast or beat off all the shell and then you have a raw metal. That needs to go to be fixed. So that's chased, metal chased. And then I go out and look at it and check it before the patina goes on. Mm -hmm. So how many people do you have to go through just to finish that one piece? This particular piece, well, first there's, if I may, I made it. Mm -hmm. Okay, I made it. Then it goes to the mold maker, then it goes to the wax pourer, then it goes back to me at four for wax chasing, mm -hmm. then it goes to the sprue person, then it goes to the shell person, then it goes to the f foundry guy who pours the, the thing, then it goes to the metal chaser and to the patina guy. So we're looking at like nine people. What really inspires me are curves. That may sound weird, but I like curved lines and curved forms because they're just more, much more interesting than straight lines to me. And plus then I, can, I have all these different ways of, of modeling them. So I like that. I mean, you model clay, that's the, the key. You carve other stuff, but I'm a modeler, I'm not a carver, you know, per se. I've been lucky, I've gotten six best in shows over that many years. That's not a huge percentage, but it's, uh, it makes me happy. Honestly, I guess it makes the work more attractive to people to have in their home. 